Casey here with 911 Motorsports. And in this video, we are going to be using our Tube Master here to make this tube right here on this bumper we've been working on with our Bronco. And uh, I originally was just planning on a couple of vertical tubes, but didn't really like the look of it and decided I want to do something a little different and add some tubes here, which uh, with our Tube Masters over here is actually really easy to do to basically just set these guys up with the needles, adjust them to where they fit right, and then what we'll do is we'll pull the tube out and then take this over on the bench to then go copy it to make this tube like this over here. So stay tuned to see how it happens. To start setting up the Tube Master here, we'll wanna put one of these relief notches on the tube and that'll center us on the bottom tube. And then we'll wanna find the center line here and get our needles clocked to find that center line. Then we'll want to use We'll want to center our tube master on the junction and then we can adjust our needles. Now that we have one of these things set up, we'll grab, I'm going to grab, this is uh, our short hinge. Uh, any extension tube would work, uh, but it's nice to have something that has uh, center line marks there. And I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this down so it won't move. So this is fixed now. Then we'll grab our second tube master and get this on here like this and like that. And then now we can come back to the vehicle and we'll set up our second guy and align. And then make sure our gap is looking good on the rotation there and then run our needles out just like this. And then once you get it close, it's good to verify everything's looking right. Snug it down and do the final alignment on everything. Now that this is all adjusted, uh, we can uh, pull our tube back so we can remove this and then go copy it on the bench. First step is to uh, figure out how long it is and cut your piece of tube. Then it's good to draw a reference line on this uh, just to make things all the same rotation rather than having to measure rotation. Then before we pull this apart and transfer it, one last thing we want to do is reference our distance between these two guys. So that way I know where to set these on the final tube. Then we can pull, loosen up our hose clamp, pull this off. Uh, remove the inner sleeve here because we're on some smaller OD tube. Give it a couple extra turns to make this thing a little larger and then real gently slide it over our tube and clocking that to match. Now we can lock this guy down and then we'll pull off our other one and slide this on this tube here like that. And now we'll find our same reference numbers just like that. Then set our rotation. Now it's as simple as transferring our mark. Now that we've transferred our lines, we can remove these guys and make some cuts. This is where I like to cut on the line too. Try to peel it out of there. There. Okay, so let's see how this thing fits on the vehicle here. Uh, so like that, 
Uh, not too shabby, but this gap here, this is about a quarter inch. This is my mark where this tube needs to be. So we're a little bit long, which is good because that's gonna give me meat to trim this down. A Little bit of a gap there. So we're probably gonna wanna, we're gonna wanna trim here and we're gonna sand a little bit there too. Up here, I wanna sand a little here and uh, then here as well. And then we can, uh, well, check our backside. I think there's a few spots to sand. We got about a quarter inch to knock off this thing. We'll go dust it up. Okay, now I'll go do another fit. Did a little dusted on this guy here and kind of sanded those up a little bit. So didn't take a whole lot of sanding. And now she's fitting good, nice tight cope there. You could easily TIG weld that. And that was, that was only a couple minutes of grinding afterwards, which is definitely necessary when you're doing things like this. Uh, so now we've got these two tubes are all done. The bumper's looking good. Uh, we can tack, tack it, get this thing off, and that's about it for this video using our Tube Master here to make this uh, sexy tube right here. Make sure to go check out our website for more information on these guys and watch our other Bronco bumper build series to see all the other cool tools that we use to make this uh, bumper as well. And so if you like the video, like it. If you have any questions or feedback, add a comment below and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to speed with 911 Motorsports.